Hello everyone, welcome back to another one of these collection videos, and as you can tell by the plush in the background, with Yusuke and Hiei and Pooh, we are going to take a look at our Yu Yu Hakusho collection. Uh, this is a very special manga and anime series uh, for Amanda and myself. It's one of our favorites and one of the few that we really share as kind of a family favorite. Uh, my other favorites are stuff like DBZ that I grew up with, but she's not as big of a fan, and vice versa with other things. This is the one anime that we really both have uh, strong ties to and are big fans of. So let's start off where it started off with the manga releases. We aren't huge manga collectors as we don't really reread a lot of that kind of stuff. It's more of a once and done, but there are a few favorite series, and this is one that we have in full. The English language Shonen Jump series. Most of these are the first printings. We have volume one, volume two, three. I love all the artwork in here. Not just the cover, but there's so much additional little pieces of artwork that you get in. The manga releases. It's always been a, a favorite for the characters. Really, that's what propels this to being one of our favorites, not just the, the fantastic storyline and the great action, but it's really this main cast of four here that have been the draw over the years and keep us coming back to it and really feeling a, a connection with these characters. Uh, it's a show that I initially started watching when it came here in the U.S., to Toonami. Uh, a friend of mine, Matt, actually got me to start watching it. I missed the first, I don't know, four or five episodes. I hadn't started watching it yet, but you know, we watched a lot of the same anime and he got me to start checking it out. And then I don't believe Amanda really saw much of it until about 12 years ago. So around the time we got married was when she really, I think, saw more than a handful of episodes. And she became a huge fan instantly. I actually think over the years she has become a bigger fan uh, than myself between the two of us. I love the arc with Sensui. That's maybe my favorite arc. It's hard to decide. There's so much. There's only really Two things that I would not necessarily, I wouldn't really say are wrong, but are more of that I wish were a little more fleshed out with the entirety of the series. Otherwise, it's uh, a near perfect manga and anime, just in incredible. I do wish that it was a little bit longer. I really th wish that the beginning was some of the more spirit detective and, like, kind of more less about the fighting, like those elements had lasted a little longer, and the ending, once we get towards the end here, I always felt, both in the manga form and then even more so in the anime adaptation, the ending portion felt a little rushed. It felt like, you know, 19 is the final volume, but it really feels like it should have been 20 or 21, and then if you extend the beginning, maybe 22. So again, I was, those are the only things that I, it's so good, I wish there was more. Uh, and there are a few things that I wish had been a little more fleshed out, but other than that, uh, so that's a look at the entirety of the run of the manga, and now we'll move on to DVD. And as I said, the first way I encountered Yu Yu Hakusho was the anime before the manga. 
Uh, Timing-wise, I'm not even certain if we started getting the manga until after the anime started airing on Toonami uh, in English. Uh, it started releasing on VHS, and then we had the first run of DVDs. This Funimation line that usually included just a handful of episodes per volume. And this is one of those oddball series where uh, both Amanda and I are in agreement. We actually like the English dub more than the original Japanese version. And that's almost never true. Usually I am a you know sub over dub for just about anything. I like things in their original language 99% of the time. Uh, this is one of those oddball ones, though, for some reason that I feel like they really knocked it out of the park. And I actually prefer that dub. And Amanda's the same way, uh, definitely. So here's the release of Season 1. Season 2. Season 3, which if I had to pick a season, this would be overall my favorite season of the show. Uh, but there is some stuff in Season 4, the Demon World uh, stuff in the, in the backgrounds of the characters that I really love. But again, I just, I wish, I think if they were, I think if Season 4 was a longer or was a 4 and bled into a Season 5, like if it was a little more fleshed out and, and uh, you know, expanded upon, I think this would be my favorite overall. Getting a look at the um, the history and the lives of Karama and Hiei was really fascinating in here. And yeah, I just wish that stuff had been expanded upon a little bit longer. Then we had a few other DVD releases. Uh, this includes uh, the movie OVA and includes a bunch of other extras, including one of my favorite things is the opening and ending section, which is a bunch of uh, music with the imagery from a lot of the openings and a lot of those ending imageries in the DVD sets at the end of episodes. And that actually comes from a Laserdisc release that had that in Japan. And Yu Hakusho is one of those animes that was released in full in season box sets, Japan only though, on Laserdisc. Uh, that's really, really cool, but I don't believe there were any releases outside of Japan. Uh, then one oddball one of Yu Hakusho the movie Poltergeist Report which you know is Yu Hakusho uh, this movie is it's a, a decent movie it's actually I think underrated it's one not a lot of people talk about the problem is it has a this you know is US manga core release it has a different English dub and it was never been really redubbed which is sad and it takes away from it because it's just not as good so it's one of the few ones that if I do watch it, I, I will want to watch it in Japanese, but this is an underrated portion of the Yu Hakusho experience. Then we move on to Blu-ray, and Yu Hakusho has been released multiple times on Blu-ray here in North America. It was individual seasons, and then Steelbooks, and now we just got, and I just did an unboxing video for this, filmed earlier today, the 30th Anniversary Edition Blu-ray set includes several new OVAs that were done for the anniversary which were previously only available in Japan. I think they're actually included in the season 4 Blu-ray box set that was released there. I'm trying to remember that might have even been for the 25th anniversary that they did that. I'm trying to remember if it was earlier than this. But this is our new Blu-ray box set. And then we just have two of the Yu Hakusho video games. In Japan, there have been, I don't even know how many Yu Hakusho video games over the years. Sega Genesis, you know, the Mega Drive, the Game Gear, multiple ones on the PlayStation 2, uh, Super Nintendo. There have been a ton of games. Uh, over here, the only ones we ever received were two Game Boy Advance games, which I had years ago and never really got into them, so those didn't stay in the collection. They were okay, uh, but it was more of 
that's all we really had. Uh, so those two, you know, were just kind of okay. The one that I held on to was Yu Hakusho Dark Tournament. There's been a lot of Yu Hakusho fighting games over the years, which makes sense based on the, the show. And there were, I think, three, maybe four on the PlayStation 2. We only received one of them here in North America. So we have that, and one of the Japanese Mega Drive games. Just kind of happened into our collection over the years. And that is a look at our Yu Hakusho collection. I'd love to hear if you are a fan of the show, and if you have a collection of your own, make sure you put a link down in the comments, because I would love to check it out.